tonight's book is called Flitterfly. It's from a series of books called The Bug Books, written by Stephen Cosgrove and illustrated by Charles Reasoner. Your mommy loved these books when she was a little girl. As you lay on a summer's day in a cool and shady place, don't look up into the skies. Instead, look down and squint your eyes. Squint your eyes so very tight, and if you look with all your might, you'll find the land of more than small. For in this land live bugs. That's all. Hammers rang in the outskirts of Bugville, where they hammered and hammered on a new wooden wall. Stacks of boards lay strewn all about as bugs rushed about hither and thither, building this and that. For this was the new part of Bugville, the part that never seemed to be finished in the land of more than small. One of the bugs who came here to watch was a little bug called Flitterfly. He would watch a bit of this and a little bit of that flitting here and there, and Flitterfly didn't like to sit still for too long in one spot. It was hard for him to concentrate, and besides, if he stayed in one spot for too long, he might miss something somewhere else. Flitterfly tried to sit at his desk to do his homework every night. He would start to study, but then something would distract him, like a television show, and off he'd go. His books and papers sat on his desk, gathering dust. Because Flitterfly never finished his homework, he got terrible grades, and because he got bad grades, all the bugs thought that he wasn't very smart. Flitterfly couldn't even play a game without getting distracted. One day, he was playing left field in a game of bug ball. Cootie Doo was at bat and belting a towering hit right to left field. It should have been an easy out, but at that very moment, Flitterfly became distracted by a butterfly flying by. He was just walking away when the ball landed at his feet. All his teammates couldn't believe it. They went rushing out to Flitterfly. That's it, said Bubba as he threw down his mitt. Every time we try to play, you get distracted. You can't pay attention. We're not going to ask you to play anymore. And the other bugs agreed, but Flitterfly didn't even notice. He'd heard an ice cream truck and was running after it. Now, Flitterfly had a secret dream. He wanted to be a writer. He imagined himself writing the big bug novel or little bug books. In order to write, he felt he just had to have a brand new typewriter that sat in the window of the Bugville Mercantile and Office Emporium. I know, he said. I'll get a job and save my money and then I'll buy that typewriter and he rushed about town looking for work, here and there. Every bug in Bugville knew that Flitter Fly didn't finish anything he started, and no one wanted to give him a job. When he applied for the job at the, at, as a bug box boy at the grocery store, he couldn't even finish filling out the application. He just walked away with a dreamy look in his eyes, thinking about some other job he might get so that he could buy that new typewriter. You don't even know what a typewriter is, do you? He drifted around town and he noticed a sign in the window of Humbug's office. Humbug was the city clerk of Bugville and the sign read, Wanted a young bug to write reports and do some filing. Long hours and cheap pay inquire within. He dashed inside and breathlessly said, Mr. Humbug, sir, I want to be a writer, and if I really want to be a writer, I need a typewriter, 
and I can't get a typewriter unless I earn some money, so I really want this job. Humbug looked at the eager little bug and decided to give him the job, because no other bug had even applied. Humbug gave Flitterfly a lot of things to do. He gave him a pile of papers to file alphabetically and a long report to type. And eagerly, the little bug raced up and down the rows of files, filing this and filing that. And before you could say, buggledy bug, he was finished with the filing and went off to type the report. Flitterfly started to type and would have finished for sure, but a spider walked across the desk and sat down in the shadow of a candle and chewed on a crumb. Flitterfly was fascinated and sat there and watched and watched, for he had always loved to watch crummy spiders eat crumbs. He sat at the desk watching for hours when Humbug walked up and asked for the report. Flitterfly hung his head in shame and said, I didn't do it. I started watching a spider and I got distracted. I guess I'm fired, huh? Humbug stared at the little bug and finally said, No, but if you want to keep your job, you'll have to pay attention and finish what you start. I'm not going to pay you while you sit around daydreaming, but if you finish the report, you can still earn enough money to buy your typewriter. The choice is yours. Then the old bug walked back, leaving Flitterfly, sitting alone at his desk. He had a decision to make. Flitterfly decided he would work. And work he did, over and over again, until he felt like quitting, he would concentrate and keep trying. He worked harder and harder. The more he concentrated, the more he learned. Finally, in the sputtering light of a nearly burned out candle, he finished the report. He didn't make much money for the job but it was just enough for a slightly used typewriter. More importantly, he discovered the reward of finishing something that he had started. If you are distracted and can't finish what you begin, remember what you've started. You also have to end. The End did you like that bug book? I did.